Okay, Bard, Google's Bard. This is my first look at Google's offering um, to take on Chat GPT. I've done some queries with it already so that I can just go straight in and look at the kind of results that we're getting. Overall on the screen, it's nice and neat, it's clear, it's very similar to Chat GPT. Uh, slightly lighter, I like the look of this, so that works well. I've asked them my first question, how can you help librarians do their jobs better? It's given me a fairly anodyne set of results here. Nothing particularly interesting from Bard at this point, but I can look down the results that I've got here. There's an option to copy the data. Really like that because that's an issue with ChatGPT. It can be a bit of a pain, but this is a nice, quick and easy way of being able to do that. There's also an option here so that I can go and run a Google search and we'll see how that works a little bit later. I've asked for the content and it just gave it to me in a bulleted list. I've now asked it to give it to me in a numbered format, which it's been able to do. I'm really not happy with the kind of results that I'm getting here on ways that it can help uh, librarians do their job better. So I've said here, you know, it's it said, I can be a good listener and provide librarians with the information they need. And I've asked it to go into more detail on that. And it, it's come up with, quite frankly, nonsensical um, rubbish at this point. Um, I can provide librarians with support and encouragement. Uh, opportunities to network, I've asked it about that. And it said that I can provide opportunities to network by hosting events and conferences. Clearly it can't do any of that uh, whatsoever. So it's it's making all of that up as it's going along. So ChatGPT hallucinates and Bard is certainly hallucinating in grandiose style. Let's move on and look a little bit further. I've asked for information on the moon landings. I've got a little bit of information here. It's very poor. Uh, it's given me details on the first moon landing. It's given me a couple of dates, but it's not given me anywhere near the data that I got with ChatGPT. It's not giving me information on all of the other moon landings as well. So I would say that's a very poor result. I've asked for the answer to be given shorter and for children. Works really well. I'm very happy with that. No problems there at all. So it can do that. I've then asked to give it some suggestions for journals and their URLs that cover the subject area. It's given me some journals and these look to be okay. What it hasn't done is given me any URLs for those journals, which ChatGPT is perfectly capable of doing. So again, this is quite astonishing. It's, it's really poor work here. I've then asked for a search string that I can put into Google to run an effective search. And it's given me a search string, uh, moon landing, minus hoaxes, minus conspiracy. Again, it's not a very good one. It's ignored the element there that I wanted on academic or government and US or UK. I've then pushed it a bit further and said, can you provide uh, information from academic UK sites? And it's come up with an answer that is just quite frankly wrong. It said site colon uk.edu. That does not exist. It simply does not work. It should be site colon ac.uk. So a complete failure. And it's astonishing that Bard doesn't even know the basics of Google search. And yes, okay, it's um, a language model, but it Google knows that they're going to get asked this kind of stuff. And not even knowing the basic functionality is shocking. Uh, moving on, my nephew's coming to London soon, interested in science fiction. Can you give me some suggestions? It's given a few here, but they're generally quite poor. Uh, watch a science fiction movie, play a science fiction video game, read a science fiction book. None of that relates to visiting London. One or two things there that do, but again, really poor on that part. Um, give me some suggestions for dog names. It's given me some. This is better than ChatGPT in that it's given me things like classic, unique names and so on. I've then asked it to act as a, an expert in naming dogs and I've given it an instruction to ask for questions and then make a decision. Um, it's completely misunderstood that question. I've asked it several times in previous searches I've done. It's failed every single time. 
and it's it's given me some answers but it's not really worked properly I did try it again and it's again a poor set of results at that point um, I've asked it for information here on the address of the BBC which it has given me uh, it's given me the URL of the BBC I then asked for the URL of the shop the Forbidden Planet which we looked at earlier in the answer to the question about my nephew coming to London and again astonishingly it's come back and said that it can't assist me with that as it's only a language model and doesn't have the capacity to understand and respond but clearly it does understand when I ask it for the URL for the, for the BBC's website which it is able to give me so again it's it's a, it's a fairly poor result at that point um, I did get it to do some work for me on doing an essay on the role of parenting in Pride and Prejudice it's okay it's not a particular problem with that it's it's an okay essay I did run it through G uh, GPT-0 and it said that the text is likely to be entirely written by um, AI so overall I'm very disappointed um, it's poor it really doesn't hold a candle to anything that chat GPT does Microsoft has nothing to worry about at the moment uh, yes it's its first couple of days but there are some really poor errors within it and hopefully it will improve in the future but as it stands at the moment it's laughable